Hey guys, it's Kelly with My Metamorphosis, and I am here to share a Walmart grocery delivery haul with you all. So grab a drink, grab a snack. I've got some great stuff. Sit back and relax, and let's enjoy this haul together. <music> So I'm gonna go ahead and just, I've got it stuff set out on my card table here. And I did a short about this, but I do wanna apologize again. Um, I won't be able to use my other phone for videos. You couldn't hear me. Well, I couldn't hear myself when I was um, watching that video back. And I could not, um, it was poor video quality and so on so all right I don't necessarily have things categorized however I do have things um, or I will be telling you sorry guys kitty's got to go in the bedroom okay you already know real life Real life up in here, real life. Okay, so um, I am gonna let you know, you know, kind of like what will be um, made, you know, with what, or what will be going where. So let me go ahead and show you this um, frozen stuff first so that I can get it in the freezer. We are having um, some friends over for dinner on Monday, so, um, I grabbed, oh, this isn't even the right pie. I'll show you the other one in a minute, but grab this great value vanilla bean ice cream. That'll go with a pie. Um, I just grabbed this to, you know, have when Trace isn't here and I don't cook a lot. Um, the Marie Callender's chicken pot pie. Trace and I love these. We don't get these often at all, but I saw it and I was like, that looks so good. So it's the Edwards chocolate cream pie. Oh, and I, I'm usually a Coke Zero girl, but I'm gonna do a little taste test right now. This is the Pepsi Zero Sugar, and I'm gonna try it and see if I like it. I wanted to just try one, you know, single cold one before I ordered, you know, a 12 pack of it. I think I, yeah. Anyway, wow, okay, um, hmm, you know, I feel like I have to do that along with my Coke Zero, or it's not quite fair, but I think it tastes pretty similar, I'm not quite sure. The aftertaste might be a little different, anyway. And then I got um, some large 18 pack of eggs. Those will be for sandwiches. You like breakfast sandwiches and stuff? Excuse me, baby, get down. I got just a small one of these. I'll get some more coffees um, when I go to Big Lots, but I got the Great Value French Roast. This is the one I like. It's dark and it's bold and toasty. It's a 12 count. I also got one of these just to have on hand. I like to add this with my liquid creamer. Um, they didn't have the smaller size in the original flavor, but it's the Great Value Original Coffee Creamer, the powdered. Got a um, mayo. So I'm gonna tell you guys, I've told you before that I, I'm not a mayo snob. I didn't think. You know, like I am okay with um, like a good quality generic mayo. However, I haven't really found one. So um, I got, you know, our our fave, which is Best Foods, which I guess is, it would be comparable to, I think it's called Duke, or not Dukes. I think maybe that one too, Heinemann's or something like that, but that's not around here. So um, I'm gonna show you some soups. I will be making some soups as well, but I just got these to have for lunches with sandwiches, and I'm super bummed because these came very bent, and I am going to have to, um, I mean, like, badly bent. I'm gonna have to 
let Walmart know, but these are the Progresso broccoli and cheese. You know, they're like already made, you know, add water or anything. And I got two of the Progresso tomato basil. That's the one that I put in with the um, cup of noodle noodles. If you saw that short, it was so good. Um, I got a Campbell's Chunky pub style chicken pot pie. Got two of those. Uh, two of the Great Value Chicken Corn Chowders. And I didn't really see any of those other kinds in the Great Value. Um, let's see. I ordered a half gallon of 2% milk. They substituted with a gallon because they were out of a half. I did order one more of these, but um, they wanted to substitute it for... Um, the mozzarella sticks and I'll just go ahead for a penny more and get another one of these because Trace likes the cream cheese pepper bites um, when I go to the Dollar Tree tomorrow but I just got the one of that and we treated ourselves to the Angus um, beef patties and I got the bacon and cheddar ones I hadn't tried those before so you know we might have hamburgers one night and the rest will just kind of like make with mashed potatoes or whatever this got a little squished too it's not a big deal but it's just the great value ranch which um no we don't go through that much ranch <laughs> ranch however the last time i bought one of these which was actually a month ago um i did end up giving to our neighbors so um it was actually one of um their son's birthday parties trace was up there they were having pizza they needed ranch um so all right and then i ordered two of these because i can't always find them at the dollar tree um the straw the excuse me the starburst blue raspberry um but and i think they were cheaper at walmart sorry i'm not doing prices guys it's just it's i think it's a pain in the butt for both of us but um Anyway, they only had one, and so I said no on the second one, but they give it to me anyway. That was a substitute, the all pink. Those are good. And we're trying this for the first time, the Great Value Everything Seasoned Crackers. Those look very good. And I haven't bought these for a while, but you guys know I love these if you've been with me for a while. So these are the Clear American um, Zero sugar, zero calories, zero caffeine, zero sodium, and they are the sparkling beverages. Now, they are not like LaCroix or anything like that. They are very flavorful. So I got two of the Fuji Apple, two of the Wild Cherry, and two of the Pineapple Coconut, and those are our favorites. I got one thing of the Great Value, um, half and half, a quart, Got this for the first time. It's just an 18 pack of the Great Value Classics. Barbecue, original, sour cream and onion, and salt and vinegar. And that was a great find for us and it was very inexpensive. Um, and I'm not gonna show you guys those quite yet. Give me one minute and I will be right back. All right guys, sorry. I don't mean to be wiggling you around up there. Okay, so lots of bread um we got some um hot dog buns the great value obviously for hot dogs i got the 12 count this time of the original english muffins those are going to be for our sandwiches uh the egg sandwiches we've got sliced cheese um, already in the fridge like the American cheese and then I've got more here and then I got this great value black forest ham that can be used for those sandwiches as well or if Trace wants to use them for sandwiches we ordered the bar s beef hot dogs but they substituted for the Oscar Mayer beef and those are for the hot dog buns got Trace some more of the great value plain bagels we got some great value multi-grain for sandwiches. And then we got a couple of the great value white loaves for sandwiches and toast. And I got a great value French vanilla coffee creamer. Hold on guys. I was also at a 
place called Yokes. I don't know. I think it's a, I think it's local, either around here or to Washington. But anyway, I went there just really quickly the other night and I got this Chobani, which is, you know, like a yogurt brand. Um, coffee creamer, it's just regular coffee creamer, but it's peppermint mocha and it was on sale for two bucks. So I grabbed one of those the other night and I like to mix these because I don't really like the all, you know, like all mocha. And then I usually get these, they have tons of $1 bread. You can get them sliced or not in different types and sizes. These are great just to, you know, toast up for dinner. Um, these are in the deli section. So this is a slice sliced French bread. Got two of the deli donuts. Um, so two of the round maple, two of the round glazed for Trace and I. Here's the pie. Um, it's great value from their deli section. That's what we're going to have Monday night. It's a Dutch apple. That's going to be with that French vanilla ice cream. We got some summer sausage. We just kind of want to do some appetizers. I got one of these to see if I would like it. I have liked the avocado, like different plant butters before. Coconut, avocado, because they have olive oil in it, you guys. So it's like a really good sweet and salty and it's not all the horrible things that margarine has in it. So this is a country crock plant butter. And I, um, you know, just got the small one to try. Got some more cream cheese of this kind. The ones that we get in the squares are either for our jalapeno jelly, which, you know, we'll do at my mom's. We'll be there for Christmas. But this is for just like cooking. And also if you buy it in a two pack, um, you do save a little bit of money. Um, and then I got the regular um spreadable butter with canola oil which is similar to this it's just not vegan um that we that we get i kind of use these different things these different butters for different things and then i usually get one of the great value whipped butter this is the market side spinach and artichoke dip with parmesan we're going to use that on those um everything bagel crackers got two of the bar s beef bolognese i don't don't normally get the beef but we we kind of splurged this time around so and that's okay every once in a while got some cheese for um you know sandwiches um you know we also use the american cheese or you know for burgers or um for the breakfast sandwiches just different things i got one of the pepper jack which trace really likes and i mean i do too and then a mild cheddar and then i got two of the provolone because we both really love the provolone one large bag of the colby jack shredded for like nachos and stuff and before I forget, I got a 40 pack, the same water we always get, a 40 pack of the Great Value water and a 12, I'm sorry, an 18 pack of 12 ounce Gatorades. I got the multi-pack for Trace this time. You know, he drinks those for basketball and whatever. Um, and it's the red, orange, and yellow ones, the yellowish, you know, greenish ones. Um, and I got a 12 pack of Coke Zero. So I got some grape tomatoes, and those are just, you know, those can be like little appetizer or snack type things, but also I got this for some salad, the butter lettuce salad. So the grape tomatoes can go in there as well. And then I just got some shredded lettuce this time for our sandwiches. All right, guys. I'm gonna go ahead and um, put a few things away right after I show you one more item and then I'll be back uh, for some Christmas stuff. So just a little bag of the 
Um, my brain went dead. <laughs> the yellow onions. Um, I'll see you guys in just a minute. All right, guys. So, one non-food item, I believe, is all I got. And I just have to, you know, I always have to give you one thing at least to laugh about, okay, in my videos. <sighs> yeah, I thought that those were large plates, and I was like, what a great deal. Yeah, not, because they're like a salad size, but whatever, we can use that for snacks. Great value, everyday plates, 50 of them. I think they're nine inch. I don't know what I was thinking. Okay, got some candy for my kids' stockings, the ones who will be in town, and to put in my older grandchildren's um, box of goodies and my niece and nephew. So. And some chocolate for Mama because, you know, it's just that time. So, got four of these um, Palmer Santa Claus, the, the double crisp ones. One for Hudson, Hattie, Amelia, and Gracelyn. So, Gracelyn and Amelia are um, my oldest son and um, soon-to-be daughter-in-law's kids. And... I didn't get my boys these because they're not big fans, but um, I know I didn't, if you saw my Dollar Tree haul where I was sharing Christmas gift ideas with you, I know I didn't say anything about Amelia and Gracelyn and I feel horrible. I'm, it's because I haven't gotten them anything yet um, and those things will be coming, um, but uh, I should have at least said, hey, you know, I, I don't have anything for them yet. So, um, all right. And then I've got four of the regular milk chocolate Christmas trees. No, I'm sorry. Six, seven, seven, one for me. <laughs> so I have to tell you something funny. My kids don't like it when my stocking is empty. So I have to put stuff in my own stocking. <laughs> yes, yes, I do. <laughs> so, um, niece and nephew, Amelia, Gracelyn, Gracelyn, me, Trace and such. And then they only had one of these. So, um, it's the white tree. They were out of the other ones. And let's see these, the little cute little Whopper houses, Christmas houses. So I got one for Sutton. Trace, Amelia, Gracelyn, Hud, and Hattie. All right. The rest of the candy will be bought tomorrow when I go to the Dollar Tree. So I stocked up on some chocolate for our home, though. Um, got, well, for Mama, got a Kit Kat. Like I said, it's that time of month. Um... Two of these, which I cannot always find at the Dollar Tree, and I think they're cheaper at Walmart. The Lindor um, milk chocolate bars got two of those. A Reese's cup, <laughs> three Musketeers. This was cheaper than at um, than at Dollar Tree, but I think maybe you get more unless it's just an optical illusion. You get six bars in here. I don't remember how much they were, but anyway, I got some Twix. And that's it, guys. All right, guys. So, you know I don't like to rush through hauls. However, um, with grocery hauls, sometimes I need to a little bit. So, I apologize for that. And I just saw that that was only, like, under 10 minutes. So, that's going to be a very short video. Um, and I've got some, not cooking videos, but just little shorts. Or I might make them into short videos. Um... In fact, you know what? I might make maybe like a little slideshow of some um, meals that I've made lately that I haven't uploaded. You know, just little quick meals that might, you know, just literally be something from the um, the air fryer. So I hope you guys enjoyed this haul. I love you guys. And thank you so much once again for getting me up to 500 subscribers. Um, I did drop down to like 
501. I was at 503 and then it was like 502, 501 and I'm back up to 503. So that's good. Um, tomorrow I will be touching base with you about the giveaway <coughs> and sorry, um, we live right by the stairs. So in our apartment, but, um, anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed and I hope you were all blessed. So continue to stay blessed and stay safe, my butterflies. And I will see you very soon. Mwah.